Hey guys, so this is going to be the first episode of the pod. I'm in Johannesburg right now. Today's episode is going to be about why you need to have your ducks in a row. And I am going to be doing some episodes with Eric, a friend who is a model. Because I think it's good to have a guy's insight because it's okay, it's all well and good for me to talk from a girl's and a woman's perspective. But it's also nice to have a man's perspective on things. You need to have your ducks in a row. Like so many girls say, I want a rich man, I want a successful man, etc, etc. If any of you have me on TikTok, everyone found it hilarious when I said on the video, saying Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos are not going to come and collect you from taping Libertine. They're not. I'm actually sorry, but they're not. Like, you cannot let these dusties and brokies into your life and wonder why you're not attracting decent guys because obviously what do you expect if you entertain dust there's no room for decent good guys to enter your life how is elon musk going to enter your life when you're busy entertaining a fool from tape and libertine swinging from the chandelier like a monkey if you want a rich man you have to be rich yourself i'm so sorry you need your own ducks in a row if you want someone else who's got their ducks in a row focus on yourself have your ducks in a row and then you'll be able to find easily find a man who's got his ducks in a row my life got so much better when i stopped entertaining these hooligans stopped dating in general just focused on myself and honestly it's an addictive feeling just being alone i love being alone always have and you need to learn to be alone and you need to focusing on yourself isn't even enough anymore you have to be asexual honestly i feel like i'm asexual now because i know that i'm straight however i'm just not even bothered by men anymore i'm not phased by men anymore i do not care in the slightest like i couldn't care less and it's quite scary because it's like when i do want to eventually care one day i don't think i'm able to i feel like asexual now guys honestly Oh. And I saw something really that resonated with me on TikTok. Let me read this quote. Luxury. Oh, this one is good, guys. Listen to this. Shira you Seven. Own your own property. If you don't have a luxury vehicle, why do you need luxury clothing if you live in an apartment or live with your mom or whatever? Only fools. And I will repeat this. Only fools. Spend money on luxury items that don't own anything. Only fools. And people think it's fake anyway if you walk into a Honda or walk into a low budget apartment. So people go broke trying to look rich and people think that stuff is fake on you anyway. No matter went to Louis Vuitton and spent. And that's how Mary had a little lamb. Guys, you need to have your own ducks in a row. You don't need no guy to buy you have nice handbags to buy food. I've said this on my TikTok before. Who, who are you fooling going on dates for free food, please? You can buy your own food, and if you cannot, there's chicken and rice at home. There's chicken and rice at home. Khalas, yani. Honestly, stop deluding yourself, stop entertaining dust, and I promise you, once you stop entertaining dust, you're going to notice higher quality and high value men into your life. Honestly, once I stopped entertaining the dust, the filth, I noticed high quality men enter my life easily and guys I work in business class it's not hard and just because people travel in business class that doesn't make them high value just saying but literally I have people trying to set me up with the nephews the other day I had someone trying to set me up with his nephew guys the other day on a flight there was a heart surgeon it's not my style they will come to you so this heart surgeon tried to give me his number another doctor messaged another crew who wasn't even on the flight to find me to ask if he can have my number and i was like nah like he can have my instagram i'm just not interested guys i'm not interested if anyone says why 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 i'm not interested i do not care i'm very happy being independent and being alone and being by myself have your ducks in a row if you're spending your salary on louis vuitton and you can't even pay your rent what are you doing it's not everyday image, image, image. Honestly, some people are so stupid. And if you do this, you are stupid. You are a fool. I'm so sorry. Like, what are you doing? Invest that money on something useful, you know? A down payment for a mortgage or a car, something. Something useful in life. 
like Shiri said, how are you going out spending thousands on designer to look good for people who don't even care about you? For image, image, image. Who cares? Get your ducks in a row. Let me tell you the quote that resonated with me, guys. Sorry, I got a bit off topic then. So I saw this quote that really resonated with me. The gut feeling you get when you know you're not supposed to date right now. The universe is preparing you for, or God. I'm religious, so God is preparing you for your person. No apps, no talking stage, no longer entertaining your old connections, just you in your solitude. This is another thing guys, that just resonated with me so much and I feel like it will resonate with a lot of people. I just know whoever's supposed to be written for me in this life, they're written and that's it. I'm not going to sit here chasing after stupid boys like, first of all we don't chase anyway, we are classy ladies. Who's chasing? Who's chasing? Does the egg chase the sperm? No, darling, the sperm chases the egg, it's biology. You don't need to be out here running after these boys in Tape and Libertine, these Tape and Libertine warriors. Please, leave the Tape and Libertine warriors where they belong in Tape and Libertine, swing from the chandelier like a monkey. Leave them there where they belong. Yeah, that's not the kind of man you want anyway, darling. As someone left a comment on my TikTok saying, on that video that I did do, if you want to check the video, go on my TikTok. It's this video in my car. In my car. I'm in my mum's car, put on, put on. Where is it? Do a video with me whilst I tell you why you need to cut the dusties off now. Okay, so someone commented on that video saying, and this is why, um, so everyone wanted podcasts, podcast. I'm here. I'm here because I'm sick of the nonsense I see online influencing these youngsters. Like, some of you people are influencing the youngsters and you're talking nonsense about quit your nine to five, about finesse, finesse. Listen, forget this finesse, finesse. Have your own ducks in a row. There's nothing more satisfying. There's nothing more rewarding in life as a woman than having your own and being able to buy your own cars, being able to buy your own houses and investing in yourself. There's nothing better than that because once, listen, once you have your ducks in a row, a lot of your problems will go away when it comes to men. Because I'm sorry, but us ladies who have our ducks in a row, we don't have these issues. We don't have the dusty issues because we just don't entertain them and we don't allow them in our life because they don't align in our lives. So where do they fit in our lives, please? We don't need no one to pay our mortgage. Our mortgage is paid. We don't need no one to put diesel in our car because like, my cars have got diesel in them, darling. We don't need someone to put food in our mouth. We can feed our own mouths, you know? Don't rely on a man. Never rely on a man. Or even if you're married, even if your husband is Elon Musk himself, Jeffrey Bezos, I don't care. I don't care if you work at McDonald's and have a part-time job. This I've also said this on my TikTok before. Always have your own. Always have something of your own. Because if something happens, whether that's financial abuse, physical abuse, anything, an emergency, God forbid, what if he dies? God forbid. God forbid. Sorry. What are you and your kids going to do in case he's not got a will, in case something wrong happens? Guys, I've seen it and it's happened to me before. Like... Lawyers will mess, will mug you off, accountants will mug you off, whatever, whatever, whatever. I've been through this stuff myself, not with men, but like with my dad's death. I might have watched my mum go through this, like crazy stuff. I've witnessed my own friends being, had abuse in relationships, financial abuse, physical abuse, and they wasn't able to leave. They wasn't able to leave because their partner put them in a position where they controlled them, they manipulated them to the point where they couldn't have any access to their own finances. They didn't have their own finances. And that leaves you in a very vulnerable position. And guys, don't let any man put you in that position. I'm so sorry, but it's so dangerous. And the same goes for men. I have a guy friend, one of my close friends, who I'm not close, I'm not friends with him anymore. We had to stop being friends because of his, his wife was financially abusing him. And I've witnessed my guy friends being abused. Don't get it twisted, guys. Men can get abused too. I know I'm very much sounding like I'm for the girlies, but men can be abused too. Financially abused, physically abused, mentally abused. Oh, guys, verbally abused. It's deep out here. And 
this is another thing this is why you have to make sure your mental health is good you, you have to focus on yourself and your own you really have to work on yourself and focus on your mental health and focus on yourself as a whole have your ducks in a row because if you don't if you get into a relationship it's going to be hard if you're not mentally prepared if you're mentally challenged if you're not where you want to be in life because if someone is insecure or even if you're insecure the other person is only going to bring you down but if you're secure in yourself you know who you are you've got your ducks in a row ain't no one can no one could come in your life and bring well maybe they can no one could come in your life and bring you down because you've already got your ducks in a row and whoever doesn't and whoever wants to bring you down and be insecure you know where the door is you know where the door is please close the door on your way out darling bye don't be scared to open your beak and speak and check people for how they're treating you you i was literally having this conversation with a captain earlier who's telling us about his beautiful relationship with his wife and how they met etc etc and he was like you need to demand respect you need to demand respect don't allow people to treat you anyhow no you demand and listen some pe a lot of people say to me oh my you're intimidating you're scary you scare guys off does it look like i give a ass does it look like i care do you think i care no because a man is not going to be scared or intimidated a real man who knows how to communicate and raised by parents like mine old-fashioned fathers like mine they will know better and they will know how to behave a real man i'm sorry is not going to be intimidated by my rothwell who's like five foot six petite listen let's be for real okay sorry sidetracked someone replied on this tiktok video that i did in my car like ranting saying why you need to cut the dusties off someone said once you use jeff bezos and elon musk as the type of man you want i realize what type of woman you are lol first of all i was only using them as a as an example as a dramatic example just for the lols just for a laugh i was just basically saying to the girlies do you think Elon Musk and Jeffrey Bezos are going to come and collect you from Table Libertine? I never said they're my type, by the way. Even though I do like shy guys. Guys who are quite shy. Yeah. Like Elon Musk, he's quite shy. And I quite like that. I know my worth and I'm not going to settle. Sorry. Let people think you're bougie. Let people think you're scary and intimidating and okay i am scary and if i am so bougie and intimidating and stush why are you stood in front of me darling get out of the line because there's a line of habibis in the queue who will step up to the occasion darling don't let guys when a guy wants to approach you and say you're bougie you're stuck guys always so many guys used to say this to me you you're bougie you're stush okay yeah I am bougie and I am stush. Why are you stood there then? Move. Move then. Let the sheikhs and the prince come then. Because what are you doing there, Dusty? You're in the wrong queue. Go in the Dusty Girl queue. This is the thing with Dusty guys. They don't want the Dusty girls. They don't want the girls on their level. Because there are Dusty girls too. And I've said this on my TikTok before. There are Dusty girls too. I'm not going to sit here and say, Dusty guys, Dusty guys. There also are dusty girls, and we need to hold them accountable too, I'm sorry. There are plenty of dusty girls in the sea for these dusty guys, but no, they don't want the dusty girls. They want the buddies. They want the worldies. They want the high-value women. They want the queens. They want us queens, I'm sorry. They want us queens for a reason. They want what they can't have, and let them not have. Don't even give them the chance. Don't even let them entertain you. And this is another thing. Do, I used to think, I used to feel flattered when guys would come back. Don't be flattered when they come back. Don't let these dusty spin the block on you. Don't even give them a chance. Don't even open their message. You know, I got to a point, yeah, like when I was like done with men and I was just in my like CBA phase, you know, focus on myself. Started deleting the chat without even opening it. Or I would slide swipe and just delete the chat. I wouldn't even ignore, I will just delete the chat that's how much that's the level of cba i am like 
one thing you're not going to do is enter my life because guys I I'm a very direct person and I like to be honest and I like to communicate like an adult and I like people to be the same with me so what I don't understand is when I've told someone not once not twice because I do like to give people the benefit of the doubt because you know we're not perfect whatever we might have a bad day so I do like to give people the benefit of the doubt and just let them know communicate and then yeah 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 it won't happen again blah blah, blah. all the nonsense that these dusties want you to hear you know and then they'll do it again and then they're crying and vomiting when I cut them off and it's like what did you expect what did you actually expect don't come crying to me now because you had your chance and you blew it you had your chance and you blew it so don't let them spin the block and I'm actually I'm actually flattered now when guys don't spin the block because good if you've got any shame or dignity you won't embarrass yourself like that and you won't message me just for me to ignore you and delete the chat and laugh at you because that's what I am I'm laughing at you I'm laughing at you I'm not even looking at you I used to do this thing where I would just mute the story whatever I'd leave them there in the background now I'm very much for the old Maya who would block everyone on their mum. Oh, listen, don't be scared of the block button or delete button. I don't really block, I don't care to block, but I will delete you. I don't care, I don't want these people in my life, I don't want weirdos in my life to message, hey, hi, gorge, oh my god, so pretty, love heart eyes emoji, fire emoji, bye. I know I'm fire emoji, I know I'm love heart eyes emoji. I know I'm a cutie, you don't need to tell me, brokey, dusty, join the back of the queue, in fact, behind the door, because you're not even in the queue, you had your chance. Like I said, there's plenty of Habibis in the sea, let the sheikhs and the princes and the kings be in line, step in line, not these dusties, these dusties, out of the door please, cashier number five please, let them go. And this is another thing, your type, if you're like, if you've got an anxious attachment style or you've had trauma from your childhood, etc, etc, you're in your healing era, your type is not going to get you anywhere in life. I'm so sorry, your type is not going to get you anywhere in life. And I'm speaking from experience because I used to always go for the same guys as well. And it's actually psychological and it makes sense. I explain this to my friend, like, the cycle has to end with you. Yes, you might have had trauma from your childhood. Yes, you need to heal, but you are the person that's going to break that cycle because if not, it's going to pass, go on to your children, your children's children, etc, etc. No, halas, it ends with you, it stops with you. No more bad boys, no more toxic boys. No, heal. This is why I always say you need to work on yourself and love yourself because even me, guys, my dad was a bad boy. I had this heart to heart on the Boeing 777 after Gally on the jump seat when I was in economy, like when I was new. And this girl, she gave me a therapy session and I've given the same therapy sessions to, uh, to crew as well. Your childhood really does affect you as an adult, but it doesn't mean it's going to determine the rest of your life. You can heal, you can get help. If you need professional help, please do. But the habits stop with you. The bad habits stop with you. The good habits start with you. Stop entertaining these dusties. Stop entertaining these toxic people and also you, you being toxic yourself. My dad was a bad boy, guys. My dad was a bad boy in his prime, yeah? And then he met my mum in his 60s and proposed to her and married her my mum, the queen. Do I think people can change? Yes, but am I willing to wait until someone is 60 to change? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm sorry, no disrespect to my father, God rest his soul. Love him, he's a king. Love him. But am I willing to wait until someone is 60? Absolutely not. I'm not attracted to men in their 60s. No offense to my father who was in his 60s, God rest his soul. This is the thing about men. Men can have children until they die. Guys, I'm the eldest and my dad had me in his 60s. I like guys, you know, 30 plus. But 60 is too much. I'm sorry, 60 is too much. This is another thing, girlies. I'm so sorry. Not saying men in the 30s aren't trash and can't be dusty because they absolutely can. 
they absolutely can I've met a handful of them it's not so much an age thing I just prefer older guys I just feel like guys my age are just not all there are some guys my age very mature just pff, very few it's a re it's a scarce scarcity and it's a rare breed not saying there aren't any guys in their 20s who are not mature because there's guys in their 30s who are immature and 40s who are immature however i'm just like we're just not on the same wavelength we're just not you know they're talking about swinging from the chandelier and taping the bettine i'm trying to talk about real estate in dubai whether there's going to be a dip or not like just not on the same level sorry no offense your type is going to get you nowhere in life that's basically what the gist of what i was going to say your type is not going to get you anywhere in life but you are the one you can cut the cord i believe in you girl you can do it if i could do it you can do it i used to always go for the bad boys used to love a bad boy now i'm repulsed by this stupid hooligan behavior you have to be disgusted by this behavior when someone disrespects you when someone is stupid and doesn't know how to act or behave as a man you need to find it embarrassing and it needs to give you the ick i'm sorry men very easily give me the ick now doesn't take much to make me sick yeah and i know that's also bad but a real man will not give me the ick and not make me sick because he knows how to behave and i also saw this on tiktok as well all you need is one person to set the standard and that's it person can be yourself by the way i'm not saying it has to be a guy like i have experienced a king i was talking to one guy like the only guy i've ever taken seriously in dubai really he treated me like a queen and the only reason um we're not married now like if we did carry on talking we would have been married by now we we were the same religion he was very respectful he was from the same culture as i am which i've realized actually makes sense i never used to like my own people now i'm starting to come to terms with the fact that my own people my own culture are the only people i will get what i deserve and what i want in a man because i've tried i've tried guys I've tried the different styles of gravy. It's done nothing for me. It's done nothing for me. Apart from giving me a headache. And like I said on my TikTok, teaching a man how to behave and how to treat you is like teaching a fish how to climb a tree. For what? For what? Please tell me why. I don't know about you guys. I do not like teaching fish how to climb a tree in my spare time. I have better things to be doing my days off. Pilates horse riding, swimming, etc, etc. Not teaching fish how to climb a tree. I'm not a teacher, I'm not a psychologist. That's not my job. Thank you, bye. Ma salama, khalas. Next, cycle ends with you and you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it, guys. There's nothing more attractive than a woman who's got her ducks in a row and don't do it to be attractive in the male gaze. Do it for yourself. Do it to fall in love with yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, how is anyone else going to love you? You have to love yourself first and foremost. What's written is written, guys. The person who's meant for you will come. Obviously, you have to do the work. I'm not saying sit in your house and expect the delivery guy to be your husband. I mean, he could be, but come on, be for real. Be a bit realistic. You have to give yourself the opportunity at the same time, this captain also said earlier, when we all went for lunch as a group, he also said, give yourself the opportunity. When you feel, you will know guys, you'll know a good guy when you come across one. And I know in the beginning, you might not want the good guy, whatever, whatever, but this is why you need to work on yourself and you need to reprogram your mind and detach from these, you know, bad boy, toxic boy, lifestyle, mindset, whatever you want to call it dusties tape and libertine warriors whatever you need to gravitate towards you need to gravitate towards the elliot granges a lot of girls they want to be sophia ritchie but they don't realize sophia ritchie was sophia ritchie before she became sophia ritchie grange she was sophia ritchie before she became sophia ritchie grange yeah you want to be treated like a queen you want to be treated like that but she also she also had hair ducks in a row people are like it makes me laugh when you see on TikTok a trend that was like 
they put a girl's picture and then afterwards when she dated a wealthy man it's like but she was already wealthy before she was already wealthy before and this is what i mean by have your own ducks in a row because women who have the ducks in a row they don't have these problems and rich girls they don't have these problems I'm not saying they don't have any problems they do but when it comes to dating it's it's a different it's different and it's not just about looks guys like everyone has a different style stop comparing yourself to others someone i might find attractive you might not find attractive someone you might find attractive i might i might not find attractive we all have different styles we all like what we like i don't even have a type i'm not gonna lie i don't even have a type i don't have this thing where it's like oh i only like black boys white boys guys honestly every country i've been to i went to japan and people they was looking at me and i was looking at them i don't think there's any countries where i'm like oh no never I just like what I like. So don't be insecure. Some guys love curvy girls. Some guys some guys love petite girls. Some guys love tall girls. Some guys love slim girls. The same way I have friends who love dad bods. I have friends who love tall guys, short guys. Everyone is different. There is someone out there for you. He will love you for you. In order to receive good people in your life, you need to stop entertaining the dusties. Because you putting energy into the dusties in the first place is is like kind of showing to God that you that's what you want. And that's not what we want, Queens. Not what we want. So yeah, don't even entertain them. Don't let people spin the block. Obviously don't be evil and wicked, you know. You can be kind of you can be polite if you want to. Personally, I don't care. I don't care. When it comes to dusties, I will, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. But no, a good respectful king, yeah, I will talk to him like a king. And I will talk to him with respect and how he deserves to be respected because he's a respectable king. But yeah, like I said about this, the guy, um, he treated me like a queen. And I feel like once you've been treated right once, it kind of sets the bar and I mean my bar was already set high from my dad but I kind of settled for less always I settled for less now I will not I will not settle for less and guys don't settle for less because you know what you deserve and you know what you want why are you going to settle for your, for less like this captain said earlier no discounts he said guys no discounts it's true no discounts when it comes to your person, your soulmate, the father of your children or the mother of your children, your soulmate, I'm sorry guys, no discounts. It's not, this is not home bargains, yeah? The person who you're potentially going to spend the rest of your life with, no. You're allowed to be picky, you're allowed to have standards. This is your life we're talking about. Have hobbies, have something for yourself. Don't just be sat there waiting for him to message you. Come on. I'm going to cut this short now, guys. I feel like I've gone on quite a lot. Let me know what you'd like me to talk about next. That's it, guys. Bye. I love you guys.